For the second part of the CAMPART definition process, define the target model. This is the final shape of the workpiece after the machining. Click the target button to start the target model definition. The model dialog box is displayed once again. SolidCam uses the target model for gouge checking in the Solid Verify simulation, and iMachining 3D uses the target model as input for the desired geometry. Click on the target model in the SolidWorks graphics area as shown. Solid 1 appears in the type section, and the target model is defined. Set the facet tolerance parameter to 0.01 mm. This is the recommended value. SolidCam generates a mathematical representation of the 3D model geometry, producing a triangular mesh for all the surfaces of the original solid. The facet tolerance parameter defines the accuracy to which triangles fit those surfaces. For example, click the Show button to display the rest material window of SolidCam. Click the Wire Mode button to view the faceted representation of the target model as a wire frame, and then zoom in. This is the triangulation with the recommended facet tolerance of 0.01 mm. Click the Render Mode button to display a shaded view of the faceted representation. The facet tolerance parameter also controls the visualization quality of the target model shown in the rest material window. In addition, the faceting quality of the target model that appears on the screen is a direct representation of the surface quality of the final workpiece after the machining. Click Close to exit the rest material window. A smaller facet tolerance will produce a more precise triangulation of your original model as well as improve the visualization quality. However, a smaller tolerance will dramatically reduce visualization speeds and slow calculation times. Click OK to confirm the target model definition. Next, click the Settings button to display the Part Settings dialog box. This dialog box enables you to define the updated stock parameters and options used for the rest material calculation in iMachining 3D operations. In this exercise, you will see that an iMachining 3D operation generates an updated stock model, reflecting all material removal by the operation. SolidCam automatically compares the updated stock model with the target model and calculates the rest material. The recommended value for the tool facet tolerance is 0.01 mm. This value controls the precision of the mathematical representation of the tool for the rest material calculation. Click OK to accept the calculation parameters and close the part settings dialog box. Lastly, select the iMachining data to complete the CAM part definition. Click the arrow under Machine Database and choose Haas SS New from the list. This machine file was created in exercise number one and has a machine default level of six. Next, click the arrow under Material Database and choose Aluminum with a 100 Brunel hardness number and a hardness Rockwell of 60 on the B scale from the list. These machine and material database definitions will affect the cutting conditions generated by the technology wizard. The CAMPART definition process is now complete. To save the CAMPART data and exit the milling part data dialog box, click OK. The SolidCAM manager is displayed, and iMachining 3D can now be used to define how you want to machine. If you have not followed along, apply and practice the procedures shown in these videos to define the CAMPART.